Hello, my name is Danielle Sullivan. I'm the assistant principal at Brewster High School, and I'm here with Nicole Horler, the principal of Brewster High School, and we are here to talk about what the development of the strategic coherence plan skills look like here at Brewster High School. We are actually in the mindful moment room, which Ms. Horler will speak about in a moment, um, but I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about some of the skills that we are working on and fostering through our, our instruction here at Brewster High School. Um, we are looking at the strategic coherence plan through fostering cross-cutting skills, mainly focused around collaboration, pro-social skills. Um, we have many organizations and um, clubs that their main focus is on developing empathy and the civic responsibility. Um, many of our clubs do a lot of outreach to the community and that is um, a daily, on a daily basis. Also in our classrooms, um, our teachers are taking on more project-based learning. So there are more projects which foster collaboration and teamwork and um, actual opportunities for students to adapt through difficult situations. Um, another example of one of the cross-cutting cutting skills that um, we are really focusing on here at Brewster High School has to do with oral communication and that's an interdisciplinary approach. For example, our seniors culminate um, their senior year with a final project which is a TED Talk. Um, they get to self-select the topic and they actually construct and carry out the TED Talk and that is a requirement for our graduation. Um, that is something that will prepare them for anything they decide to do after high school. Um, and that skill is also practiced in all of the other classes, so by the time they do get to their senior year, they are mastering that skill. Um, and now Mrs. Horler will speak more about this amazing room that we're in here at Brewster High School. So one of the things we focused on in the last two years, what we noticed is that um, the SCP skills uh, focus a lot on uh, what, what is tangible, what we can actually measure. Uh, one of the things we struggled with measuring was mindfulness and being in a sound mind and body. And we recognize that due to the high stress that students are under and adults are under, um, in their daily lives, it is very difficult for them to come to school and mentally be prepared to focus on those SCP skills. So, uh, Rebecca Archer, who is our mindfulness slash yoga slash health teacher slash everything uh, guru, uh, really focused on building and creating this mindfulness moment room. Um, and it's about to open. It will be open uh, starting next week. Throughout the room, we have a mindfulness moment corner, uh, which focuses on uh, coloring. You could do adult coloring. You could do mindfulness uh, journaling, which is a special skill. There's uh, stacks of mindfulness books using uh, yoga as medicine. Uh, how to improve your mental health and your physical health at the same time. Uh, there are pictures in here where you can sit in here and you can focus. There are pictures of beaches. Uh, there are Tibetan uh, meditation bowls located in here. There are lotions and essential oils also located throughout the room. So uh, the idea behind the room, although it will be run by Mrs. Archer, She's training her students, her seniors, who've already taken yoga with her, to, um, to run the room. So each period will be staffed by a student, a senior, who is skilled in uh, teaching students to be more mindful and be in the moment. Uh, so there is an entire uh, book and lessons that Ms. Archer put together for the students to learn. Uh, so they'll be doing that next week. There's sign-in sheets. There's also an adult present in the room. And the intent is that uh, this room be used for students and faculty alike. Um, it's, we're in a place today where everyone is functioning at a very high level of stress 
and there's healthy stress, which is fantastic to work off of, but uh, we seem to be in a place where there's a lot of toxic stress, and that's what this mindful moment room is uh, intent on fixing. So, so that's what the mindful moment room is. I hope to enjoy it soon. Thank you.